Now for advice on how to triage your life. This month's tip focuses on the importance of sleep. Sleeping is not something that only determines whether you are tired or alert. To put it simply, sleep can save your life. Sleep is needed so everything in your body and mind can work correctly. The one source of truth I like to share comes from the American Sleep Association at www.sleepassociation.org. According to the American Sleep Association, 50 to 70 million people in the U.S. suffer from insomnia. To them, sleep is a luxury, while to others, it's something taken for granted or abused. So just how important is sleep? Let's go over the long-term effects of not getting the proper amount of sleep. Lack of sleep affects your brain function. There was a study done on this by the Mental Health Foundation that found that people who didn't get enough sleep were four times as likely to suffer from lack of concentration, have relationship problems, and were three times more likely to even be depressed. Your heart is also affected by sleep deprivation. This statistic is overwhelming. But the University of Warwick did a study and they found that getting less than six hours of sleep on a continuous basis makes you 48% more likely to die of heart disease and 15% more likely in developing a stroke. Your weight, life length, and immune system also suffer from a lack of sleep. New research published in the online July issue of Neurology a prestigious medical journal from the American Academy of Neurology noted that people with sleep disorders who are otherwise healthy might be more prone to develop Alzheimer's disease than those who do not have any sleep problems. Researchers identified a connection between biological markers for Alzheimer's and sleep disorders. There are ways you can get a better night's sleep. One of my favorite neuroscientists, Matthew Walker, and author of the book, Why We Sleep, suggests the following. Number one, going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even after a bad night's sleep or on the weekend. Number two, keeping your bedroom temperature cool. About 65 degrees Fahrenheit usually will work fine. Number three, dimming the lights and turning off all screens. That means put those phones away, get them off your night table, and have your room nice and dark and settle down an hour before bedtime. Blackout curtains can be also helpful. Number four, and this is a big one, especially for me, avoiding caffeine after 1 p.m. So you know that afternoon cup of coffee? Get rid of it. And avoid alcohol at night. Alcohol, although it's a sedative, it actually blocks your brain from entering into REM or dream sleep, which is really important part of the sleep cycle. During sleep, we usually pass through five phases. Stages one, two, three, four, and REM, or rapid eye movement sleep. These sleep stages progress in a cycle from stage one to REM sleep, and then the cycle starts all over again with stage one. We spend almost 50% of our total sleep time in stage two sleep, about 20% in REM sleep, and the remaining 30% in the other stages. So it's not just the total hours of sleep that you need, but it's the amount of each type of sleep uh, in each of those cycles is very, very important. And it depends on many factors, including age. Infants generally require about 16 hours a day, while teenagers can get by in about nine hours on average. For most adults, a minimum of seven to eight hours a night appears to be the best amount of sleep. Although some people may need as few as five hours or as many as 10 hours of sleep each day. Services and devices, like monitors, are available to help you monitor your sleep. Your physician can also refer you to a sleep center, which does a deep monitoring of your sleep cycle during an overnight test. Home sleep testing is also available in the comfort of your own home. Once a sleep study is completed, a board-certified pulmonary physician can offer treatment to improve a patient's sleep. Technical devices can also help determine the amount of sleep and the percentage of deep sleep and REM sleep. There are wearable biometric devices available in the form of a bracelet or even rings that can track your heart rate, respiratory rate, pulse, and motor activity. There are even specialized mattresses that use biometrics to track sleeping positions. Sleep medicine is available at CHS facilities throughout Nassau and Suffolk counties. For information, and if you need a physician, please visit www.chsli.org 
or call 1-855-CHS-4500. For more health information, tune into CHS Presents Dr. O, Faithfully Transforming Healthcare, airing on the Catholic Faith Network and CBS TV 55. To view recent episodes, go to CHS's YouTube channel, where you can also watch Dr. O's Health Tips and Solutions.